Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be actually talking about Aptera again. Um, but before we get into it, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Alright, so um, before we talk about Aptera, we have to kind of think about other electric vehicle manufacturers. And I think the one that matches most would be Tesla. Do you think Tesla created a brand new category of vehicles? Oh, that's a good question. I don't think they did. The reasons that I have in my mind is that the Tesla functions exactly like a car, but it just takes a different type of fuel. Aside from that, I'm not sure what other reasons there are. Yeah, I think it's because electric vehicles have actually been around for a while prior to Tesla. They've all been in testing and the theoretical idea of an electric vehicle had always been around. So I don't think Tesla invented it. And also, like you were saying, functionally, it's designed to be very similar to a um, gas powered vehicle. So I agree with you. No, they did not invent a new category of vehicle. So I have to pose the same question. Do you think Aptera is creating a new class of vehicle? Uh. Yeah, I think so. Theoretically, if you drive the Aptera um, with the solar panels on there, uh, you don't have to ever fuel up. I think that's completely different from any vehicle on the road now. Okay. I, I would actually think the answer is no, because they're taking an idea that's been around. In that way, that makes Aptera kind of similar to Tesla. Is if you look around in the solar vehicle space, you can see for decades now they've been racing solar electric vehicles in the Australian desert. Right. So it's not something brand new. It's just something that is new to the commercial vehicle space. So it seems like they're making a brand new vehicle or brand new class of vehicles. Okay, so why were you thinking about that question? So I was thinking about this question is because people will identify that Aptera is bringing something brand new to the to the commercial vehicle space and yet they're really just building on something in a way to make it viable. So in that aspect they're actually very similar to Tesla. We're kind of exploring this idea of maybe Aptera is kind of like Tesla. They're breaking through on a class of vehicle that's been around but not commercially viable. So you think if they are able to scale up like Tesla and they could be a big thing. I think so. Okay. It could be. Could be. It's a little speculative right now, but um, well, yeah. Does their timeline match up with Tesla so far? Well, let's talk about Tesla's history, right? So Tesla's been around for quite a while now. So, uh, two thousand and three was founded by Martin Eberhard and Mark uh, Tarpenning. Two thousand and four, Elon Musk invests in the company. And then 2006, the Roadster prototype shows up. Uh, and 2007, Model S development starts internally. 2008, Roadster begins production. And we're talking about the original Roadster, not the one that's theoretically coming. With the Lotus show on it? Yeah, yeah, the Lotus one. The one that they basically took a body, Lotus body and put batteries in it, an electric motor. That one. So that one began production in 2008. And 2009, the Model S started being produced. In 2010, they purchased the Fremont facility from Toyota and GM. And in 2010, they actually IPO'd. So that's actually not that long ago. Um, 2012, they unveiled the Model X. And Model S deliveries start in 2012. Uh, 2012 also marks the beginning of the supercharger network. And then 2013 which is now less than a decade ago, Model S deliveries finally start to Europe for the first time. Uh, 2014, the Nevada Gigafactory is announced. 2015, the Model X begins delivering. 2016, controversially, they acquire Solar City, and, then in, and they also unveil the Model 3. 2017, a year later, they begin delivering the Model 3, and they announce the Semi and the new Roadster. 2019, they unveil the Model Y, and then they uh, begin operations at the Shanghai factory, and they announce the Giga factory in Berlin, and they also announce the Cybertruck. 2020, uh, like I feel like it's been such a long time since Model Y has been out, but 2020 is only 
when the Model Y started delivering. And then Giga Austin begins construction in 2020. Now this year, 2022, Giga Berlin and Giga Austin begins delivering vehicles. All right, so that's um, Tesla's timeline up till today in a very general sense. Okay, so Aptera actually kind of, kind of has a quite a long history also. Um, Aptera was founded in 2006, um, and they announced a three-wheel, 330-mile-per-gallon vehicle. And in 2008, Steve Fambro steps down as CEO, and he's replaced by Paul Wilbur, and the vehicle is delayed to 2009. And we're talking about a gas-powered vehicle that's just hyper-efficient. So in 2009... Uh, the U.S. government denies the loan that they were applying for. And then in November of that same year, the company lays off workers, and both Steve Fambro and Chris Anthony, who are basically the original founders, leave Aptera. 2010, the Auto X Prize competition is being held, and Aptera's car is entered, but it fails because they're supposed to do 50 laps, um, and their vehicle overheated in 30 laps. So unfortunate. 2011, Aptera begins folding on itself. Um, they return the deposits to the customers. Um, the Department of Energy at this time offers them a $150 million loan, but it's contingent on the company being able to raise the same amount of money on the open market. Of course, that didn't happen. Um, and Aptera at that time also switches from doing a three-wheeler to trying to make a four-wheel vehicle, and that fails. And then 2012... A Chinese automaker called uh, Zhejiang Jianwei Group, they purchase Aptera's inter intellectual property, and then they split it into Zaptera, Zaptera with a Z, and Aptera, um, USA. And then in 2014, everything just goes silent for Aptera. So wow, that's yeah. rough. Yeah, rough, right? What a disaster. I was so sad when I found out that it just imploded like that because I actually knew about this since 2007. Um, yeah, but come back. Okay. 2019 Aptera Motors reforms under Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro. And they use a crowdfunding campaign to restart de the development of the vehicle. That's kind of like when Elon Musk took over Tesla. Yeah. So you, you, you need people with a vision to drive the company. I think um, originally when Aptera was, uh, when the CEO position was taken over by a different person, um, it was just, they were interested in trying to make money out of it and not interested in this vision of a solar vehicle, of a like efficient vehicle. So I would say having Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro back at the, the helm is very good. Okay, so 2020, Aptera announces that they have enough funding to uh, bring the vehicle to production, and that's through the crowdfunding campaign. And they cool. increase the engineering team from 15 to 60 people, and they also reveal that the new prototype is going to be solar powered. So that kind of lines up with the Model S development of in 2007. Yeah, I think so. I, I was thinking about this, right? So um, it could be that it lines up the Roadster, or it could be that it lines up the Model S, right? I was thinking maybe not the Roadster because the Roadster is like a partially fi finished vehicle from the start because it was a um, shell from another company. So it's not like they yeah. developed the whole thing. I, I don't I don't really consider that to be their first vehicle either because it's not like a model that they are still selling. I mean, it's their first vehicle. It's just not their first like fully self-developed vehicle. And, and also keep in mind that they r unveil this vehicle same year so like the model s was they were developing it internally in 2007 um they just hadn't shown it to anyone yet so it was only 2009 that tesla came out and said look at this like awesome vehicle so 2021 three more engineering prototypes for aptera are built and those are the ones that look really finished um that you see in all of our uh, all of their videos um, and they raise $39 million in funding, and they acquire three buildings for um, R&D and manufacturing. The goal is to make 10,000 vehicles per year. Do you, do you think that lines up with anything, like, in terms of um, where Tesla was? So it looks like it 
uh, matches up with 2010 Tesla when they first purchased the Fremont factory. I think it has good parallels with that because that's the first time they have the their own like big factory. Okay, so we're we're already up to present day. So 2022, um, this time around the government funding is coming through. So, um, California is giving them 22 million dollars, and there's also some information that they're developing a four-wheel vehicle again um, but this time with a clearer vision of trying to be zero emissions and um, highly efficient nice so they have like similar rollout for van a truck or a semi even is that what's going on yeah so remember that video i showed you i was very surprised when i saw that image come up on the screen I was like, wait, what is this? Because it showed a four-wheel vehicle. It showed a potential like SUV, I think, and also a truck van type thing, and then even a semi in the, on the tail end. Okay, so in terms of delivery times, I think that's what I'm really concerned about. I want to see this vehicle on the road. I have one ordered, so I, I want mine. <laughs> when do they start delivering? So I'm thinking that the first deliveries will happen probably second half of 2023, if okay. if everything works out for them, Um, in terms of the first Apteras. So if we match that with the first Model S's, which was 2012, we can kind of extrapolate when the other vehicles in the li lineup are coming up. Maybe. So so the next one is what? The four-wheel vehicle, right? So what yeah. do we think? So the, the Model 3 was delivered 2017. So that's five years from the Model S. I think five years from 2023 would be their first four-wheel vehicle. So probably 2028 in that time range 2028 yeah maybe they could go a tiny bit faster and i have a reasoning for that is because um tesla had to design a lot of their own stuff they had to build their own like whole electric drive trains and um how to wire everything kind of all this information is quite well known now since a lot of companies are doing it so it might not take them that long to deliver on a four-wheel vehicle i think the main things would be them designing the body shape of it so the next one on on their chart was an suv type vehicle what do you think maybe similar to the model y which was 2019 so another two years so you're thinking 2029 or 2030 for their first suv i think so if if they're able to get a shape that works for that so then a truck or a semi, maybe a couple more years after that then. You mean like a truck or a van, right? I think that was the or image. Truck or a van. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think a couple of years after that, if they're able to um, get through these growing pains at the start. Yeah, maybe they'll beat uh, the Cybertruck delivery time. <laughs> oh no, that would be How very bad has... news. How many times has that one been delayed? <laughs> infinitely i think that was what was that that was supposed to be um 2020 was the first deliveries i think that's that's when they said it was originally so and we haven't seen a single one um delivered yet and we're probably looking at the end of 2023 at this point the the one thing that makes me a little skeptical of this image that showed up in their um presentation is that um aptera semi right oh yeah i don't know how they're gonna make that work i'm really struggling with this idea that you could make something so efficient solar powered and have it be a semi truck it may not be maybe it's just like a more efficient truck well i'm super excited for these new aptera vehicles oh yeah i i can't say how excited i am for this because i've you know i've i said i've been seeing this company since 2007 and um, like the disappointment of them dying in 2014 um, was was bad. Um, but now that yeah. they're back and they have uh, Monroe on their team or as at least part of their investors and also kind of helping them with design, um, this is all good news. And also they have a Gamma vehicle out and also the uh, Delta vehicle I hear is almost finished. Um, so hopefully soon they have a... Um, 
like production model to show at least a pre-production model to show well let us know what you guys think about the aptera subscribe to the channel like the video and leave a comment down below and we'll see you guys in the next one